This is a bone. The red bone marrow inside produces red blood cells. And red blood cell has to travel to the heart to get oxygen. It will travel either into the inferior or the superior vena cava. It then moves into the right atrium. It then travels into the right ventricle through a valve. Then through another valve into the pulmonary artery. In order to travel to the pulmonary artery, the pacemaker on the right atrium sends a signal to make the heart pump the blood through it. The pulmonary artery brings blood to the lung to connect oxygen. After collecting oxygen, it goes back into the pulmonary vein through a valve and into the left atrium. The blood travels from the left ventricle through a valve into the aorta. The aorta distributes the blood throughout the body. The process of the blood giving oxygen to the body starts off when the blood travels from the aorta through the arteries. The oxygenated blood cell then travels through the capillaries. When the blood cells are at the capillaries, it gives off oxygen to our body cell and take carbon dioxide from the body cell. The deoxygenated blood goes back to the heart, through the lungs, and the whole process cycles again. When you get a cut on your hand, germs invade the wound, and when they do, white blood cells come to the rescue. Me. I'm the rudest boy. Stop right there! What are you supposed to do? I'm here to stop you! Okay, go ahead! Haha, <laughs> what was that supposed to do? Fatality. But most importantly, when you do get a cut, the platelets in your blood Cover up the wound and leave a scab. We hope you learned something, so you better get an A plus for your next test, bro. I'm a banana.